if you have already updated your macbook mac os system to sonoma then in this video we are going to talk about more than 20 new tips and tricks and features inside safari browser that are offered in sonoma version so let's dive in let's talk about the cool features in safari app here first of all we are going to talk about the favorite you know icons here just go to this view option and now show favorite and now you can see the icons view before it was not there if you don't show the icons it will not show the icons and if you show the icons it will show all the icons here now you can create multiple windows and workflow let's say if you want to create a one workflow for your office and one for business and one for private so you can deal easily on your safari browser now in mac os cinema go to safari go to setting and now go to profiles here and start using profiles here you can choose the name business and choose the color you like i say like this one create a profile here is one profile this is default this is business now i can create another one that is a test file i can choose another color for this one create a profile another one and that i can say work place i choose another color and that could be something like this one boom here you go now you have three workplaces you can close this window you can see these workplaces are here now i'm on my workplace i can switch to the business window and in the meantime i can switch to the default as well there is a cool feature the workplace you choose that history will be for that particular workplace let's say we are on default and if i search apple.com and everything i search on this workplace will be saved on this workplace if i move to another workplace then that history will be on another workplace let's say i search here apple again then this history will be for this particular workflow so I can create different workflows and all the history will be shown in this workflow that particular folder in the profile you can always go and delete this file here delete delete and delete this one as well if you have multiple tabs open you can just click one tab and then hold command button and now you will see that these are highlighted in white color now you can move them and if you drag them here there are three different tabs and you can place them anywhere you like let's say i want to place them here and they are moved from this place to this place in the meantime i can create some groups let's say i'm going to select them again these three and i can have a separate workplace or a group here at the sidebar and i can place these three tabs at this different place or i can open it in the new window as well in the new cinema update you can go to setting and here in the privacy section you can check mark this one and now your incognito window is more secure you can open the web link in private just go to file and new private window here you go here are the new privacy options add any website or web link to your doc doc is here downside any web page that is open you just go to file add to doc this is the link and whatever you name this one you can change the name and you can also change the picture for this particular link let's say i'm gonna choose picture that's my picture i'm gonna choose this picture as an icon i can rename this one pro thick just for an example and add now you can see in the dock if it's visible i can simply click on this one and it will open in the browser here you go with mac or cinema your browsing is more secure go to setting and now in advanced tab you will see that this is here use advanced tracking and fingerprint protection not only in the private browsing but in all browsing so the companies or other you know websites they will not easily track you with this feature on your mac os this will color the extra information you are providing to the companies in the tab section now you can control that your automatic close tabs are after one day or after a week or after a month now this is a cool feature in mac os cinema in the passcode now you can share your passcode to your family you can add family members here and share your passcode and information to the trusted one where you can create a group and change the name of the group whatever you want if you click on this password option you can also clean up automatically after a while in the search tab you can now change the default browser or the website from the drop down list 
can go to DuckDuckGo or something like that and that will be your default browser search engine iCloud passcodes are now available for your third-party app like Chrome if you go to these options you can sync your iCloud passcodes to your Chrome and your Chrome passcodes to your Safari browser and vice versa so this extension was not available before now you can add it to the Chrome and all of your passcodes will be saved there once you add this extension it will generate a code and need to verify here and that's done now your passcodes are synced from your Chrome and Safari and from the iCloud and here you can manage your passcode with the help of iCloud extension in Chrome browser there are tons of different features you can try on Mac or Sonoma and I'm pretty sure you like this video why not okay thumbs up and subscribe I'll see you in another video bye bye